Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick talk through doing time lapse videos. Now, time lapse is great fun because you can just leave the camera running and it's just going to take in everything that it sees because it's just a long running video. And then you can speed it up to insane speeds and you can see all the things shooting past really fast. It's good when you've got like flowers that are opening up if you've got enough sort of patience and time to sit with your camera because really you should sit with your camera in case it does cut out for any reason in case you run out of memory or in case you run out of battery so try and make sure that your camera is fully charged and try and make sure that you've got quite a big memory card in there so you don't have to worry about stopping it I took a couple of time lapse videos when I was out the other day and I just said that I would show you through how to use it so I'm in Windows Live Movie Maker, this came with Windows 7. We're in a new project, so if we go to Add Videos and Photos here, so I had to actually split my video up into two because my memory card ran out. So I just put in another memory card. So you'll see that there is actually a bit of a, a jump when I use my videos, but you won't notice it when it's all sped up. So if we just select the videos that we want to import and just press Open. <clears throat> now what Windows Live Movie Maker is doing here, it's preparing the videos so that you can edit it without a big delay. Quite often when you're working with big video files it struggles with playing back all the changes that you're making and everything as it just makes it into a preview mode which means that the quality you're seeing when you're editing isn't the perfect quality that you'll get when you export it so it will look a li little bit jittery and you know, the movements won't be as smooth but that's just so that you can edit easily so at the moment it's just reading the videos and preparing them down the bottom here you'll see it saying pre preparing video one of two okay so now it's prepared the videos what we want to do is we've got them both selected if I click away from uh, click on one of them you see the first one deselected so I'm just going to press shift so I've got them both selected and go to the edit tab up the top of here and here we've got speed so if we click down on this I'm going to go for the the fastest we can which is 64 times and you see that shrinks those videos if I go back a step so control Z to go back you'll see that the entire time of this video at the moment is 35 minutes now if I times that by 64 we're on 33 seconds so that's how fast it goes but when we play it back let's pull that across to make the video bigger when we play that back you'll see that it's quite jittery that's just because where the program prepared the videos to play back it's doing it so that the computer can deal with the speed of that video and you can still preview what's happening on the screen so it looks jittery but it won't export that jittery okay so what we're going to do go back to the home tab which is the front tab and go to save movie now I'm going to just click to save it here because I've already got this exported and what it will do is it will save the movie and it will take quite a bit of time but that's just the way that the video editing software takes you know it takes a while to compress all that data into one video usually time lapse is done where you take a photo every so often so maybe once a minute but the SX40 you can't set it up to do that you can't link it up to a computer it just you can't get it to do that so the easier way to do it with the SX40 is just to take a video I do actually own Premiere Pro so if anyone is interested in seeing how to do it in Premiere I can show that one too but I hope this helps and it would be good to see people's results